Hey everyone, my name is Ben Gramico. I'm from InterNACHI, and this is an InterNACHI webinar. And we do free online training sessions like this one, um, just about every week, maybe once or twice a week. And they're free and online and open to everyone, not just home inspectors, but contractors, real estate agents, everybody, and members and non-members of InterNACHI. And so, um, the key to internet webinars is to register for anything that you like. So you go to our webinar page at natchi.org slash webinar and register, even if you can't make it to the live webinar because um, it'll be recorded and then you'll be in the system and you'll get a link to watch it later. And uh, we'll also give you a link to our online forum so you can discuss the topics of the webinar uh, with other people who attended or didn't attend. Um, today, we have a special guest, Lee Eckroth from Major Domo, and um, Lee and I like to do a couple things. Uh, we like to read books about marketing and business and then share what we learn with other people. So I really appreciate folks like Lee who take the time to learn um, and become an expert on certain topics and then take the time to share what they know with internet members and at home inspectors. So Lee, uh, I really appreciate you taking the time to uh, spend with us uh, today about marketing and business. And the title of your presentation is really nice. It's Ninja Selling for Home Inspecting, right? Subtle skills yeah. and big results. So I really yeah. appreciate it, Lee. What are we gonna talk about today? Yeah, so this is pretty exciting. Thanks for thanks for uh, having me on, Ben. You, you and I actually started talking talking about this back in August. Uh, when I uh, came to you and said, I have this idea uh, for uh, sharing some of the experiences I've had in this incredible uh, way of thinking and system uh, called Ninja Selling. So uh, today oh. we're going to be uh, talking about that, which should be pretty exciting. And I've got the book. I've got the book right here. Uh, awesome. Hopefully you can see it on my screen, Ninja yeah. Selling. Uh, I highly recommend buying it um, if you're interested in and learning a little bit about ninja selling. It's really a book geared toward real estate agents and real estate professionals and how to market and sell their business. But um, it's you could be uh, you could apply it to home inspections as well. Uh, the other book that I like to share uh, I just read was um, The Pumpkin Plan. It's about how to uh, create your market your business so that you're successful in any field, pumpkin field, uh, play on words. And um, I have no, I, I care less. I have no financial uh, um, intention of, of uh, recommending these uh, books. Uh, I can care less if you buy them or not. But today, <laughs> Lee and I are going to talk about ninja selling and the topics within that book. Um, so, uh, Lee, you want to take over the screen awesome. and, and go for it? Yeah, for sure. Let's have some fun. I'm going to steal the screen away from you here, Ben, if that's okay. And, we're gonna yep. and while you're doing that, I just want to remind, want to remind everybody, if you have a question for me or I, or um, if you want to talk, um, you can do two things. One is um, we're going to probably hold off the questions until the end, but you can use that Q&A feature to ask questions. And the cool thing is you could upvote uh, the good questions so they bubble up to the top. And then if you wanted to chat as well, there's a chat feature as well. And so um, you could ask questions or chat and uh, we'll pay attention to things and we'll take questions um, uh, later uh, in the presentation. So Lee, uh, I'm really interested in what you have to tell us about ninja selling for home inspections. Awesome, thanks Ben. So yep. uh, first, yeah, so first of all, let me uh, introduce myself again. My name is uh, Lee Eckroth. I grew up in North Dakota. Um, I moved to Lodi, California in my teens. Luckily I didn't get stuck there. And then I moved to Corvallis, Oregon with my wonder wife, Michelle, which is where I live today. Um, my first career was all about bicycles and I'm still an avid mountain biker, actually a, a tandem mountain biker, um, which is pretty awesome. Uh, prior to starting Major Domo, I was in the real estate uh, business as an agent uh, here in Oregon for 16 years and was involved in close to a thousand real estate transactions. Um, after about three years of of struggling in the business. And when I say struggling, um, I was like most agents. I was constantly looking for new business. I was constantly looking for deals. That's like where I, where my uh, space was. Um, I didn't understand that I had to run a business. I was just looking to uh, exist and, and, and keep going. 
Um, but after th about three years in the career, I was introduced to uh, Ninja Selling um, and it completely changed my business and changed my life. And um, I really live with all the principles still today. So while we were building a major domo and, and literally now, um, I spend a significant amount of time uh, within the news groups, um, inspector news groups, within the inspector Facebook pages, uh, listening and 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 uh, trying to understand what the what the challenges are. And um, one of the things that became very very clear is that home inspectors are asking all the time about how do they market themselves, how do they market their business, how do they find new inspections, how do they compete against discounters. There's like all these challenges. Um, and back in back in August. Um, I approached Ben and I said, hey, I, I have some information that I think would be helpful to home inspectors um, to, to hopefully help them uh, stop being challenged and, and start having better lives and, and, and really running their home inspector businesses like businesses. Um, and I told Ben about Ninja Selling within a few minutes. I got a note back from him saying, I already purchased the book. Let's do this. And so here we are today. So everything I learned uh, when building my personal real estate business, uh, and now Major Domo also, uh, can easily be applied to the home inspection business. So that's really what we're going to talk about today is how to apply ninja selling to home inspectors. And we'll give some solid examples and we'll give some uh, feedback on how to do that. And we'll open it up for questions after that. So let's first talk about this. The ninja selling system is based on the philosophy of building relationships. And that's it. Um, listening to the customer and helping them achieve their goals. Um, it is less about selling and way more about creating value for people. Um, so today you're going to hear a lot about relationships, building value and helping people. I mean, we're not going to talk about marketing or, 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 or tactics. We're going to talk about relationships. Um, all right. So one of the most common questions is why is it called ninja selling? And as a matter of fact, I got a message uh, from Ben saying, hey, I think some people might not really understand what, what Ninja is and what they're signing up for. And, and it's a great question. Um, so let's talk a little bit about that. Um, it all started with an amazing uh, real estate firm in Fort Collins called The Group, and they still exist. They have hundreds of real estate agents and they're the top real estate firm in the country. Um, one of their partners, a gentleman by the name of Jim Dumlap, helped develop the Ninja system and was named the original Ninja by his office. Um, the stories I've heard about Jimmy D is he had incredible sales volume, off the chart customer satisfaction, and amazing referrals. Okay, but most of all, he had a life outside of real estate, and that's a big deal. Um, we can apply all these same principles what we're going to talk about today to home inspectors. In his case, he had a life outside of real estate, um, and as the as the story goes, very few people ever saw him in his office. Thus, that's where the name Ninja came from. This amazing cat doing amazing business, but nobody ever saw him. Thus, he must be a ninja, right? Um, the end result is that he had by far the highest income per hour of any salesperson in the company. Um, and look, I think ultimately, this should be the goal of every home inspector also. Uh, you're putting time into your business. You're, you're taking time away from your family and you're, you're trying to, to, to build for the future. Um, so let's, let's make that the goal. Of, of having your highest income per hour and adding value. So that's where the whole ninja concept uh, comes from. Does that help you out, Ben? Now you have a better understanding? That's right. So we're, we're not um, talking about samurai swords, right? <laughs> no swords today. So as a result of Jimmy D's awesomeness, uh, Larry Kendall, who is uh, uh, in the picture here, uh, was He is one of the original group partners also. He began documenting the system used by Jimmy and other top sales uh, folks at the group. And reality is Ninja Selling is the result of that, okay? In 1994, Ninja Selling was founded. Since that time, Larry and the Ninja Selling team have remained focused on helping real estate agents increase their income per hour, increasing their customer satisfaction and improving their lives. Um, and let me go back and say that again, because I could I could say, this, this whole system is designed to help home inspectors increase their income per hour, increase their customer satisfaction and improve their lives. And so if you, if you take those concepts um, and try to apply them to your business, I think you'll, you'll get a lot out of what we're gonna talk about today. Um, so let's move on. So I am here today really yeah, talking you're about- absolutely correct. What's that? So, so, oh, sorry. sorry. You're absolutely correct about reading a book about real estate. 
you know, I was, when I was reading it, yeah. I was doing two things, replacing the words real estate, real estate agents with home inspectors. Yeah. Right. But also I was getting insight on how um, real estate agents, real estate agents should be um, marketing their business and running yeah. their business. So, you know, as a home inspector, you could even give some tips or share some insight with the folks that you see every day as a home inspector, which are real estate agents. So it was, it was a good book. It's a really good book. Sorry, I, I didn't yeah. mean to pump in. No, I love it. <laughs> you picked up all the right stuff. So um, I'm here today to talk about ninja selling for home inspectors, as I feel uh, literally an incredible amount of gratitude and, and indebtedness to ninja selling itself. Um, uh, one of the questions Ben asked me, and I'm gonna I'll share here, I, I don't work for ninja selling. Um, I'm not here as a representative. I'm just here as a raving fan um, and with, with the hope of helping home inspectors. Um, for me, uh, Ben, once I committed to practicing my real estate business based on the basic principles of ninja selling, uh, my life and my business changed dramatically. Um, my income doubled year after year. I continued to have more time off. And I, I went into a business, I went into a, 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 a new business sense. And that as I went from scarcity to abundance, um, as soon as I put these principles into place, I had more business than I, than I knew what to do with. I was referring business out to others. Um, I had more time off. I had more family life. I mean, all these things just happen and it, it is a bit magical, but uh, there's some very simple tactics to pull that off. So we're going to jump into some of those principles right now, and then we're going to jump into some uh, very uh, solid ideas people can put into place. Um, we ready to do it, Ben? Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. All right, let's have some fun here. Okay, there are four unique principles of ninja selling that we're going uh, to run through here. Um, first of all, uh, the idea of personal mastery. When you get better, your business gets better. And getting better encompasses uh, everything. It, it encompasses your emotions, your psychology, your physical fitness, your relationships, um, and ultimately your ability to be the best inspector possible. Um, the way to think about personal mastery is like professional athletes. Uh, these folks are constantly working on themselves, their skills, their practicing. They're doing everything possible to be amazing when they hit the game time. And uh, from personal mastery standpoint, that is where that comes from. This isn't weird or you know thinking different. It's about being the absolute best that you can. Um, and when you get better, your business gets better. So first of all, focusing on personal mastery. Um, second, um, this <laughs> this one's key, and this is one of the reasons why I reached out to Ben, and that is stop selling and start creating value. All right, yeah. um, this is a key piece. Very few people like to sell or consider themselves salespeople. In ninja, sell ninja selling is not another sales course or a get rich quick scheme. Uh, it's simply deeply caring about relationships. That's it. It really is that simple. Um, and we'll talk about how to, how to do that. Uh, business strategy. This is a really focused one, a uh, really important one. Focus on people who know you. Let me say that again. I didn't say focus on people you know. I said focus on people who know you. Okay. These are people who have relationships with you already. And those re relationships are based on three, uh, three solid foundations of no like, and trust. Super important words, no like, and trust. Um, there are scores around these, um, and you, you can look at anybody or any business and decide what their scores are when it comes to no like, and trust. So focus on people uh, who know you. Uh, fact is, it's a way easier way to do business with people you know. Uh, and, re and in return, you're building a business based on referrals not on constantly looking for new friends or new clients or new business or, or, or inspections that you know, maybe you shouldn't even have. You're, you're letting your referral base build your business. And then finally, connect, connecting and communicating. Uh, remember, it's all about them. It's not about you. Uh, be genuine when you connect and communicate with everyone. Uh, most important, always focus on others in your communications. Um, it's not about you. So these are like the four unique principles of ninja selling. Um, now we're going to jump into what the goals are. We talked about this a little bit earlier, and we're just going to uh, kind of breeze past this, but it's important to understand our three goals in ninja selling are pretty simple. Increase your income per hour. We mentioned that earlier. Increase your customer satisfaction and improve the quality of your life. That's it. It's really simple. We don't have anything else. 
increase your income per hour, increase your customer satisfaction, improve, improve the quality of your life. And so I bring that up because uh, for the home inspectors out there, when you're thinking about business tactics or you're putting together your business plan for next year, think of these as your goals, because if you can accomplish these, you're going to have a much better life. You're going to have more inspections. You're, you're going to have time off uh, and your business is going to grow. So these are the goals that you want to put down in your business plan, at least in my opinion. All right, let's talk about the five rules of ninja selling. Um, and I, again, I promise we're going to get to some solid ideas here shortly, but having the right mindset is key. Um, and the first, the first rule is to show up. Uh, this goes back to what we talked about earlier. Showing up means showing up mentally, physically, and emotionally. Come ready to improve lives. Don't, don't just come into this thinking, I'm here to do a home inspection and it's done. Come in to make a difference. Come in to, to leave a legacy. Um, the, the folks that you're working with count on you. So show up, it, show up, show up, show up mentally, physically, emotionally. Um, two, pay attention to everyone else. What this means is stop and listen, be caring, be compassionate. Um, as a home inspector, you are an extremely important part of a home purchase for, real, for the real estate agents, their buyers and the sellers. I mean, you're like a key piece. You're like a connector to make this thing happen. So, you know, be that person, um, pay attention. An interesting one we don't think about enough is telling the truth and keeping your commitments. It's kind of a big deal. Um, a, home a home inspector should be a person of integrity. Uh, they should be seen by their customers as being trustworthy, reliable, and most of all as being valuable, okay? So this, while it seems to just make sense and everybody does it, um, Keeping that at the top of mind that, you know, you're always telling the truth and keeping your commitments. These are ideas that help you um, raise your value and make you stand out from others. Uh, number four, creating value. Uh, ben was talking earlier about books. One of my absolute favorite books, and it was a, it was a complete game changer for me, uh, is a book from Bob Berg called The Go-Giver. And uh, Bob in his book has the five laws of stratospheric success. And the number one law of stratospheric, stratospheric success says your true worth is determined by how much more you give in value than you take in payment. Let me say that again. Your true worth is determined by how much more you give in value than you take in payment. So today we're gonna to be talking a lot about creating value and we'll have some examples with that, but it's really a key piece. Um, we're not talking about the book, The Go-Giver, today. We could, we could spend multiple webinars just on that, but it is a good one. It's about a day and a half read for anybody who wants to pick it up. Um, but we're, we're talking about what your true worth is. And I, I bring this up, and I, I saw Ben smile as I, as I brought that up, because so many home inspectors struggle with, for example, discounting home inspectors or people who are trying to ruin the market or, or not doing a great job. And look, the market will recognize your value. They'll recognize your worth uh, based on the value that you bring. So if your value is higher, great, get paid for it. But if you're not delivering on value, um, I guess you're going to become one of those, those discount inspectors. And that's just, you know, the space of where it exists. All right, so finally, don't get attached to the outcome. Um, all we're talking about here is that on a daily basis, stay focused on working on and in your business. And let me say that again, on and in your business. On your business means focusing on your business, on building it, on your relationships, on everything uh, that surrounds making your business go. Working in your business is when you're out doing those home inspections. So what most people uh, spend their time on is working in their, uh, in their business. And from a ninja standpoint, we think you should spend a significant time working on your business. And the result of working on your business is that you'll be working in your business. So keep focused on working on your business. Um, don't get attached to the outcome. If you do all the right stuff, if you're doing all the right uh, uh, motions every day, the business is going to come. I mean, there are, you know, what are the numbers, Ben? There are eight to nine million home inspections that happen every year. The business is out there and it's in an abundance. You know. Okay, so let's, let's start talking about some aspects of Ninja that can be applied to a home inspection business today. Uh, to be in flow with your clients. Um, and the term in flow is, a, is an important one. Um, think about being in flow uh, like swimming with a school of fish. 
That's really the best way to think about this. So when you're when you're when a school of fish is swimming, there are all the fish have their space in line. They have their space around them. They have their job to keep the 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 school going forward. Um, in your flow, you're a home inspector. In your flow, you probably have bankers and accountants and CPAs and doctors and nurses and all of these sorts of things. Um, be in flow. It's okay to let your flow know um, who you are and what you do. And let's talk about flow, knowing who your flow is. So first of all, this is the first thing that you all can do today. You all can do in the next three weeks as you're doing your business planning. Um, this is super important and most people don't do this. Most business people never do this. Very few home inspectors do this. Build a database, okay? Build a database. Um, the purpose of building the database is to stay in flow. That's the key. We just talked about what flow is. When anybody in your flow thinks of home inspecting, when they think of house condition, uh, when they think of real estate, you want them to think your name, okay? Um, even better, when anybody they know are in the midst of buying or selling, you want your flow to be recommending you, okay? So it is, we, we, we use the term top of mind all the time. This is your way to stay top of mind and it's crucial. Um, your flow should be your believers. They should be your cheerleaders. They should go out of their way to want to talk about you as being awesome. Um, and it's very doable. But first thing you have to do is build that database, okay? Uh, let's look at a couple of stats. Um, there are 1.3 million realtors in the United States. Um, here's the reality. You only need to be referred by the top agents in your market. That's it. Think about it. Real est the average real estate agent does something like eight or nine transactions a year. If you divide that between listings and buyers, um, they may have four buyers a year. You're not going to make a huge living off getting referrals from a real estate agent who has four buyers. You will be able to serve them and you'll be able to help them and they're important but you need to find the right real estate agents who you can serve and be ready to take their referrals. Um, also, this goes back to the value statement. If you are working with the right people, they're gonna find value in you. They're also not gonna be discounting your services. Um, another stat that's very real, one in seven adults make a move every year and many of these people are buying and selling homes, okay? One. Number two, think about this. If you've been in this business for three, four, five years, because people move on average about every seven years, the people you did home inspections for five to six years ago, they should be thinking about you now. They should be thinking about having you do pre-listing inspections for them, about doing the inspection on their, night, on their next house. So if you're in flow with these people, you don't have to be chasing new business. The new business just starts to recycle and come back your way. So staying in flow is really important. And all this is about staying top of mind. The basics of building your database, this is really simple. And I've, I've provided a link here um, to the Ninja Selling website where you can download this whole list. Um, you are thinking about all those people who are around you. And it's amazing how many people you have around you. Some basic examples are uh, members of your family, members of your spouse's family, your extended family, your best friend, your spouse's best friend, um, the names of your, clo your, your closest friends, your doctor, your veterinarian. All these people are in flow with you. They all know you. So be that home inspector, be that person that they call out to. But mind you, uh, some, of the, some of the things we're gonna talk about today, if you don't have a database built, it's really hard to really nurture that database. So spend the time, sit down and know who is in your database. Um, this is not a database discussion. There are all sorts of ways to create databases. Uh, the simplest way is to just write them down. The second simplest way is to create an Excel spreadsheet. And then you have all sorts of, of CRM softwares out there. And a lot of your home inspection software includes CRM. So you can load this information in and, and just be ready for it. So one, build a database. Two, <laughs> this one is so easy. Um, and it'll make you stand out from everybody. Matter of fact, it'll make you uh, actually stand out to your real estate agents. And that is send five note cards every week, okay? Um, this is about staying connected with your flow. This is just an idea, but I can tell you for the top real estate agents in the country, um, this works. Um, it's a great way to stay connected. It's a great way to genuinely be yourself. You can send these nice notes that are all about them. Um, the fact is we all love to receive special notes from people around us. 
Um, and when I say special notes, today's special notes come in the, come in the mail. It's not just a text or it's not just a, uh, it's not just a message online. So spend some time and think about sending five note cards a week. Um, and look, these note cards can be congratulations and thank yous and birthdays or just thinking about you. Um, they go a really long way. The beauty, beauty of note cards is you can make them at home yourself, which makes them free. You can buy them, they're cheap, they're nice. And your expense is, is the postage. Uh, but it's amazing when these note cards go out and people really start to think about you. Um, for me, um, let me kind of give you a little history for me on this. Um, it was really hard for me to sit down and just write note cards for the purpose of writing note cards. I felt like I wasn't being genuine, right? And so I had to find a space and time for me to be genuine. And I'm saying this works for me, uh, for everybody out there, find what works for you. Um, but personally, um, the first thing I do every single morning before I check email, before I get on social me media, before I go to my phone, is I start my day with gratitudes. And one of the way I start my day with gratitudes is I write note cards uh, to folks who have had an impact on me in the last couple of days. And it can be that person at a special restaurant, it can be your veterinarian, it can be any of these people who had an impact on you. Um, and you're just, you're doing a lot here. You're thinking about them, you're putting them first, you're making them feel special. And oh, by the way, that note card just came from my favorite home inspector, Ben, right? I mean, that's just the mindset that happens. Um, these folks will start to go out of their way to love on you, to cheerlead you, and to be your biggest cheerleaders. Um, and ultimately, all these uh, ideas are here to help you accomplish the goals that we talked about earlier. I did the same thing. I used to send out awesome. uh, thank you cards as a home inspector. Um, and I uh, did it uh, every day for a month. And it just really boosted our business. Because it's, wow. it's a little finding the time in the middle of the inspection day, maybe in the morning, like you said, though, it's a good idea. But my biggest challenge was um, uh, when I did them, it was lunchtime. And yeah. uh, my big challenge was not getting ketchup on the uh, envelope. <laughs> uh, it's, it's easy to do when you have it all set up in your van or your inspection vehicle yeah. or whatever. <laughs> you take out the box and the pen is there. And you know, all you do is sign. You can say some words with handwritten notes, but um, yeah, it's like old school, right? Now uh, it would be strange for me to see a handwritten envelope or a handwritten uh note saying thank you um and that would just really stick out now <laughs> and it would stick out right um before we jump off this topic i'm going to give everybody two clues uh when they're writing note cards to make your note cards stand out these are really important there's a whole science behind writing note cards one is always use blue ink and two always have a ps on your note card and look your ps is the call to action so if i were sending ben a note card it would say ben let's grab lunch soon it would say, you know, it, it would be these little call to actions that are pretty powerful. So anyways, I, I love hearing that it worked for you. And the reality is instead of sitting around spending your time figuring out how to market yourself online or figure out new Facebook ads or whatever they are, spend some time sending note cards. It's the absolute easiest thing and it'll cost you 50 cents, you know. All right, here's another really powerful one. Um, 44, 44 conversations weekly. Um, this is literally taking time to listen and care, um, which is so important, both personally and for your business. A forward conversation is any time your conversation revolves around others and is specific to friends, family, occupation, recreation, and dreams. Let's go back and say that again. Friends, family, occupation, recreation, and dreams. Um, instead of being the first to speak, take time to listen to others and hear what is happening in their lives. Uh, first and foremost, it lets the others know you care. Um, next, it provides an opportunity to engage because there's always good stuff to talk about. Um, and I'm, I'm, what I'm really saying here is being, being very purposeful with your conversations. It's not about your home inspection business. It's about building relationships. Um, that's just so key. And everything, everything that we're talking about today, hopefully you carry forward to the rest of your life and it, and it, and it changes your life. Um, Finally, let's go back to the four conversations. Many times these conversations will include life changes. They really do. A life change could be, um, you know, I lost a parent, um, getting married, my kids are moving out. There's all these life changes that happen. And typically life change includes real estate. And when there's real estate involved, there's usually home inspections involved, right? So we're just kind of, you're drawing a line, um, but 
it is a it's it's fair to be in that space because if you're that you if you're the home home inspector that they know they're going to reach out to you no different than if you're the veterinarian or the auto guy or whatever um, being that top of mind person uh, makes a lot of sense so be purposeful about having forward conversations weekly uh, for me I would even have forward conversations with the barista at the coffee shop I mean it was just it was just fun how are you what are you doing how are your parents doing you know people that you just get to know so go out of your way to to really have purposeful conversations. Um, because it's going to show that you care. All right, one of the harder ones, and um, it's really important, is meet with two clients, friends, people in your flow per week for coffee or lunch, okay? Um, currently, we're all doing this online. Um, as the, the country opens up, you can start to do this uh, more um, uh, socially. Uh, but look, you can today you can do this by going online, going for a walk and a talk, taking a hike, or even going for a bike ride. This is all possible. Um, by connecting with your favorite real estate agents, your clients, and your friends, um, it's an amazing way to connect on a personal level. Um, there's a couple things here to keep in mind, um, really important. First of all, when you get together with folks, you don't have to buy. Matter of fact, it's recommended you don't buy because people feel like if you're there buying them something, like they owe you something. And what will happen is they will not want to meet with you because they feel like you're getting together to try to sell them something. You're getting together to build relationships. You're getting better to understand. You're getting together to know and better understand what's going on in their lives. So one, you don't have to buy. Just get together to get to know people. Um, and two, this is another key piece. Um, so many home inspectors think that realtors should be their primary referral source. Um, I can tell you that referral sources should include realtors. They're awesome, but also should include mortgage lenders, and title companies and contractors. These are all people who are considered real estate experts. They have friends who lean on them for help because they're in the real estate space. They have friends who lean on them who say I'm in the midst of buying or selling a house, who should I get for a home inspector? And your name should uh, come right to the top of mind. So while real estate agents are super important, so are these other folks. And they're gonna appreciate hearing from you. Matter of fact, there is no other real estate or no other home inspector who is reaching out to mortgage lender and title companies saying, hey, I want to get to know your business a little bit better. And the reason I bring this up is keep in mind as home inspectors, you guys are also uh, considered real estate experts. And think about how many times friends and family and others have leaned on you saying, hey, you're a real estate guy. Who, who do you know in the mortgage business? Who, what contractors do you know, right? And you suddenly start to think about who do you want to refer? Um, and you're only going to refer those people you know, like, and trust. So, it's okay to let others know who you are so they can have a no like, and trust relationship with you. It costs you nothing. You build relationships and it becomes a great part of your day. All right, let's think like a ninja. Um, we've, we've been talking this whole time about adding value, okay? Um, I'm gonna give you a four things here uh, that you could do this week that'll dramatically affect your business in the next 90 days, dramatically affect your business in the next 90 days. So think like a ninja. Um, number one, share the ninja selling book with your favorite agents, okay? It's all right to get a few copies of these and share them. Here's the beauty, the agent is gonna love you for it because hopefully you're gonna change their life and improve their business. Um, the end result, if their business grows, your business is gonna grow. It's a win-win. Most important here is that you're showing that real estate agent that you love them, that you care for them, and you want to help them. That's a key piece. This isn't about you handing out another coupon and saying $50 off your next home inspection, and now you've spent all this time to discount your services to what your new price is. What I'm talking about is raising your value um, so that the next home inspection you're doing is 50 bucks more, not 50 bucks less. So um, this is thinking like a ninja. We're adding value. So um, whether it's Ninja Selling, the book, when I'll tell, and I'll tell you it's the number one real estate book out there and most agents don't know about it. That's why I recommend that. Um, or, it's, or it's something else you believe in. Do share that. Um, two, um, the next couple of things I'm going to share with you, I've been researching and studying over the last three months and talking with hundreds of real estate agents and ninjas across the country. And these are some of the ideas that they're suggesting um, that will help home inspectors think like ninjas. Call your customer 24 hours after the inspection. Whether you're on your way home or to an inspection or between inspections, pick up the phone and just check in. How's it going? Do you have any questions? Is there anything that wasn't clear? It'll take five minutes, maybe seven or 10 at the most. 
If they have any questions, they can ask them. You're going to be a hero. They're going to remember you. Um, and a big deal, and this was brought up by a lot of real estate agents, many times uh, these buyers get so caught up and they get emotionally uh, uh, involved in their transaction that issues in a home inspection start to percolate and become bigger issues. The good news about the call after 24 hours is that you're probably going to also start to reduce your liability uh, because you are going to uh, get rid of these issues really quickly. So two, um, make that call. Uh, three, this has been a huge one that I've been watching in all the news groups and listening and, and watching on webinars. Be a one-stop expert for everything home inspections. If you can add add-on and ancillary services, do that. It adds huge value. Um, the radon inspections, the sewer scopes, uh, adding repair estimates, all of these things are huge value adds for your buyer and your real estate agent. Um, now, here's the thing. If your business isn't set up to do this, you don't have the funds, the time, um, or certain things aren't allowed in your state, the most important thing is that you have a list of resources ready to provide to that buyer and the agent that you know will take care of them. You know these are great referral sources who will take care of them, the local sewer scope guy or the local mold guy or whatever that is. Make sure to have that list ready to make their lives easy because they already trust you. Now they're going to trust these folks. And finally, this one, this one keeps coming up over and over and over and um, not being as close to the home inspection space as you all, all are. Um, I'm not exactly sure uh, the efforts that are putting here, but work closely with your real estate partners to encourage pre-listing inspections. It's huge. And here's the reason why. Real estate transactions are time sensitive. Let me say that again. Real estate transactions are time sensitive. People have places they want to go. They have lives they want to live. They have new jobs they have to start. A pre-listing home inspection betters the betters, increases the chances of the agent and the seller having a successful sale without delays. That's your reason for doing this. It's not about you finding issues or any of those things. It's about helping them improve their chances of success. So whatever you do, put together a, a product, a plan to offer pre-listing home inspections and focus on them increasing their chances of success. Um, it'll work. Um, and they'll be, and they'll appreciate you for it. Okay, so I am hoping that we can have a, 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 conver a, a conversation around this or some folks even have some questions. And I'm, I am more than happy then to answer, stay on here, answer questions or answer questions offline. And it, you know, folks can find me. Um, I'm happy to jump on a phone call anytime just to help people along. Um, Let's talk about the current value proposition. Today, when a buyer goes out, they find a house, they get it under contract, and either the buyer or the agent calls the home inspector, they schedule that home inspection. Uh, home inspector comes out, finishes it, delivers a document, and that relationship is essentially done. It feels like a one and done uh, proposition. Um, that's how it feels to real estate agents, and that's how it feels to buyers. That's the feedback that I got prior to coming here today. Here's the value proposition that's being suggested by a lot of real estate agents out there. Um, if you want to add value and you want to be a part of people's lives and you want to build longer term relationships, offer a product that says, yes, I'll come out to a home inspection, but I'll also return on years one, two, and three to do mini checkups for you. Okay, so let's say you're in a market in which the, the home inspection cost is 500 bucks, let's say. What's being suggested is well, offer a product, offer a service in which it's $800. And for the next three years, you'll show up and you'll do a, a quick checkup. And maybe you're looking at the roof, taking a quick look in the attic and the, and, and the foundation. You run the water heater and check the furnace, check the major systems. And let's say it takes you, you know, 45 minutes, right? So on, on any of your down days and any of your slow days uh, and any of your fillers, suddenly now you have a way to fill that time. But the most important piece that's being talked about here is that you're continuing a relationship with that customer. Interesting stat, and it's a real stat. Most home buyers forget the name of their real estate agent within 90 days after the home purchase. It's a real stat. In this case, what, what's being suggested is these folks are going to have a multi-year relationship with their home inspector. They're going to look forward to the home inspector coming back 
that home inspector is going to be top of mind for them. There's a whole bunch of pieces that happen. Oh, by the way, your liability probably goes way down because now they see you as their expert and someone they can rely on. And mind you, they're always going to be recommending you also. I mean, the legendary story is going to be, I have the best home inspector on the planet. Matter of fact, he comes back once a year and checks my house for me. That's a pretty cool story. You can get paid for it. Um, no, other, no other home inspector in your market is going to pick up and do this. They're just not thinking this way. We're talking about adding value. And as a result, your business will grow, your income will grow. Um, I'm, I'm suggesting today offering a product and raising your price by 50%. So if you have another guy in your marketplace selling in home inspectors for 400 bucks, offer this for 800, you'll win. Your home is, your, and your real estate agents are going to love you. Because guess what? In seven years, when these people go to sell their house, they're going to have a better house going to be in better condition. It's going to sell faster. All those pieces, right? Anyways, this is one of those uh, ideas that I've been looking forward to sharing uh, for, for quite a while because it keeps getting brought up in all the groups I'm talking to. Um, and they think this is something home inspectors should do. And they should do it soon because it's about adding value. What do you think, Ben? That uh, sounds good. Um... <laughs> And the key to adding value is um, being able to communicate it to others. So we were talking about um, yeah. home inspector websites and home inspector marketing and print marketing. Yeah. In order to communicate what you are providing, the value that you provide. And uh, I've got it written down. Uh, the, the Ninja book, uh, it says um, in the middle of the book, it says the key is communication. People make buying decisions based upon perceived value. If you don't communicate it, they won't perceive it. And the best way to let them see your value is to show them examples rather than telling them about it. Talk less and show more. Yeah. So that's, that's right from the book. So true. Don't tell me, show me. You know, it's a old cliche. It's so true. Yep. So if there's anybody out there who ever wants to talk about this in more detail or get feedback, feel free to reach out. Feel free to leave notes here. I'll respond. Um, but uh, this is one of those key ways of, of raising your value, uh, earning more income, um, potentially growing your business. There's all sorts of, of, of upside that happens here. Yep. So one of the final things I want to leave uh, for the, on, on the table for the presentation today, everything that we talked about kind of falls into this one space. Um, I, I truly believe that uh, your next three home inspections are embedded in today's home inspection. Um, and the key to that is it goes back to the adding value piece. Um, everything you do when you're on that playing field, um, when, you're, when you're working on your business and in your business is building to what your next three home inspections are. Um, keep in mind, people who are buying homes, they surround themselves with other people who are buying homes. So they'll have, when they, when they purchase their home, they suddenly have this uh, home warming party and their people are going to show up and they're going to say, wow, you know, who helped you buy your home? What I want them to say is um, I had the best home inspector on the planet as part of my team and they helped me make this happen. And, you know, there's, you want them to have these legendary stories where they're doing everything they can to, to, to refer you. Um, so Every time you go out and do a home inspection, really keep in your mind that the next three home inspections are embedded in today's home inspection. So show up, show up, show up, um, uh, do your job, do it well, communicate, listen, be caring, be loving. Um, all of these things we talked about today don't cost you any extra. Um, they, they are just ways of running your business so it grows and it'll grow fast. All right, a couple other things. Uh, before we wrap up and hopefully jump to a few questions and uh, some, some back and forth. Um, some great resources, uh, ninjaselling.com. Uh, that's the organization we were talking about here. Um, you can go and learn there. Uh, the book Ninja Selling uh, by, Nin uh, by uh, uh, Larry Kendall. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it from their website. Uh, he's an incredible, incredible person, has had a huge impact on my life. Um, there's also another organization out there uh, called ninjacoaching.com. So if you need help um, really thinking like a ninja, um, they can help you. Um, they primarily focus on real estate agents, but I know they've also focused on mortgage lenders, on title companies. Um, they've helped bar owners change how they think about serving people. Um, so they really make a huge difference. 
And then I gave another link to the 50, 50 ways to build your database. You're going to find over on Ninja Selling's website, all sorts of resources uh, that will, will help you think like a ninja. And, and, you know, what I was always told and made sense to me is of everything we talked about today or everything you read in the book, which can get overwhelming, if you can just pick one and start doing it, just pick one. That is so much more important than picking none um, because it kind of starts you down that pathway of doing all the right stuff. And Ben, that's what I have today for thinking like a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> we do have some questions. Um, awesome. Um, do you mention to reach out to real estate agents, mortgage brokers, contractors, et cetera? Can you yeah. please repeat that list again? Carmen asks. Um, let's ask for some clarity there. What list? The the people that we're trying to reach out to? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I think I had a bunch so, of people. There they are. Yeah. Let's spend some time there. Um, so if I were, if I were a home inspector today, um, whether I was new or I've been in the business forever, um, one, we talked about building your database. So first do your database Two, if you want to start building, build some relationships with these folks, um, reach out to realtors and let them know, Hey, you just want to catch up and learn. Here's the thing. You are reaching out to learn about their business. You're not reaching out to tell them about your business. They already know you're a home inspector. So reach out and learn about their business. So people, there's, there's uh, realtors, of course, there's mortgage lenders, there's title companies, um, there are contractors. The contractors out there, think about it, the, the, some of the main people you recommend on a regular basis in your home inspection are people like plumbers and uh, HVAC folks and electricians. And it's cool to reach out to these folks and just say, hey, I want to learn more about your business. I'm in the home inspection business and I'm recommending all the time that people need to talk to uh, particular pros. I'd like to get to know you a little bit more. Um, I mean, those relationships are key. Um, and I understand that there are, there are ethics and rules in home inspections and that you can't be recommending like specific people. Uh, but the good news is that when you're sitting at that home inspection, you can say things like, man, I just had a great uh, a talk with a local electrician and they were sharing this or that or the other thing with me. All those things are okay to do because they're relationships and you're being honest and you're being truthful and you're not recommending for the for the purpose of getting anything back you're 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 doing these things to to build better relationships so for today i would focus on everybody who's involved in real estate those are key people who are also real estate professionals um, who can have a pretty dramatic effect on what you're doing kevin yep yeah. Kevin mentions you could add custom home builders and uh, local bank managers and mortgage officers to that Absolutely. list. Absolutely. <laughs> Those are a great list, especially, especially the custom home builders. I mean, think about that. If you just had a chance to go for a walk and talk with one of your local builders to get their view of the world and their view of home inspectors and to let them point out things that maybe they think you should be looking at. I mean, there's so many good conversations that can happen there. And it's going to be pretty awesome when the home builder starts to refer you as their favorite home inspector. There's no reason they can. not And look, you should be just as hard on that new home as you're going to be on any resale or any other home, right? The home in, that, that home builder is going to expect it from you. And if, if you're not, they're going to lose that respect. And Wei Zhang, uh, I apologize if I didn't pronounce it correctly, um, says that real estate attorneys are also a really great network with... Um, <laughs> And um, they yeah. have a lot of attorneys refer uh, business to them. Yeah, and that that's exactly right. Think about it. When people are going through life changes, especially when there's like deaths in the family or divorces and these sorts of things, one of the first things that start to happen is we have real estate that we need to get rid of. And one of the first steps they always do is get a home inspection. And don't you want that real estate attorney to say, I also have the best home inspector ready to go here, you know? Um, so all super important stuff. Lawrence asks, is that 24 hours after the report is delivered, that follow-up phone call? Um, I would say yes. I would say yes. I use 24 hours as a example. Um, if in your market, 48 hours is right, that's fine. Um, here's what we do know. Um, it, when, when those buyers and those, the buyers more than the agents, when they get that home inspection, whether it's two hours after the home inspection on spot, or let's say home inspectors go back to finish it up and they send it at 11 at night, those home inspections are being opened up and people are spending hours going through them. So um, 
getting back to them at that moment when they are most in need is super important. And that's, so that's where that 24 hour call comes and try to make it work, whatever works for you. You know, if it's on your way to an inspection between inspections or on your way home, um, you don't have to set aside special time to do this. Just make it part of your day. Uh, a quote from the book is uh, a part that I like. I like where it says, you are a brand. People buy you first, then they buy your services. And while real estate people come in all shapes and sizes, customers view their services as basically the same, as a commodity like toilet paper. Most real estate agents provide only the basic or core ser services. If they were to provide the additional differentiated, customized, convenient services, they would be differentiated in the customer's mind and would command a higher fee. And the ninja mantra is differentiate or die. And so I, <laughs> I, I did not remember that. I'm glad you brought that up today. That's a key piece, right? Super one of my favorite, favorite parts of the book. And uh, a lot of home inspectors may be thinking, well, what the heck else do I have to do? What more do I have to do in order to be successful? And so the, the book really emphasizes it isn't more, it's um, being different. Yeah. So being different and differentiating yourself is what what we uh, is sometimes referred to as brand. Yeah. That's, your branding. That's the answer to the question of what makes you different from all the rest and not a commodity, which is a good word for home inspectors to look up. You don't want to be a commodity. Yeah. A few years ago, Ben, I, I taught a class to about 18 agents and we, we the, it was about branding, but I took an approach of asking the agents to think about themselves like restaurants. Okay. And so the interesting thing about restaurants is they all have access to the same real estate. They all have access to the same employees. They all have access to the same recipes. Um, they all have access to all the same stuff. What makes those particular restaurants different or better than the others? And what draws you to them, right? It's, it's their brand. It's what they do and how they do it and what makes them stand out. And that's exactly what you just talked about is you've got to have that brand and you'll be more than willing to spend, you know, let's, let's use the hamburger discussion. There are places out there who sell uh, $3 hamburgers and there's places that sell $15 hamburgers, right? It's, it's crazy of how that works. I mean, you're out and look, I think you're out in Colorado where they just got their first in and out burger um, mm -hmm. in which, you know, the, the, the line is still today 16 hours long. I mean, it's like crazy. And they're just selling a four dollar burger, but they're doing it in such a way that they 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 have this huge following, right? Um, so yeah, building that brand is so important. Uh, Jordan asks, is there any chance we could get a discount on the Ninja Selling Book? I'm ready to read and hand them out like hot cakes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, do this. Um, <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome to put my uh, email address in there, Lee at majordomo.com. Um, I will connect you with uh, the folks over at Ninja Selling. Uh, my guess is they, they probably have some quantity discount or I'll point you in a direction where you can help make that happen. Um, and, it's, and it's funny that you say that because in my, in my real estate career, um, when I, I, I mentioned earlier, I kind of fell for this book called The Go-Giver. Um, over the years, I've given out about 600 copies of that book uh, simply because I, I feel that if the world had more go-givers in it, the world would be a better place. And so, you know, what, what uh, you're talking about as far as handing this book out uh, is, is brilliant uh, because if you had more ninjas out there doing real estate, uh, the real estate market would be even better. Yeah, and maybe nowadays, um, one way to share things, just like you share your report is electronic or digital. So you can send a, a copy of a yep. digital. Um, Nicole asks, this is an interesting question. How can we apply these techniques to situations where a customer, not a real estate agent, Accuses us, accuses us of something that we know is not true. Missing something in an inspection, for instance. Um, I realize, she, she continues, I realize yeah. that technically this is past the selling of a home inspection, but to integrity in dealing with difficult clients can be so tricky. They can try to ruin our reputation. Yeah. I think that's always a hard one, especially because emotions are high. Um, here, here is, here's my suggestion, and I know it's worked uh, well for me um, when, I was, when I was practicing real estate. One is uh, go back to what we talked about earlier, and that is always be honest, bring your best game, um, 
add value to everything you do, be who you are, um, make sure all of these things are expressed, whether it's on your website or that first communication you have with somebody, you know, uh, when you're returning phone calls or whatever it is, just be open, be honest in all of these, uh, in everything you do. I think the end result, and again, I, I may be wearing rosy uh, colored glasses here, but I don't think so. Um, when there is something missed or there's an issue that comes up, um, they're going to see you more as a partner and an asset instead of a liability. Um, you, you need to be able to work through those issues uh, in a professional, you know, adult manner, um, not the finger pointing that tends to happen. Um, I know that's not a, a quick and direct answer, but um, if you're building value in what you do, if the real estate agents trust you, um, if, if you're not a one and done agent, I think that's when the power starts to happen. And, and let's, we'll go back to what we said earlier, make that call within 24 hours, you'd be surprised. That alone can help soften any situation that might exist. And Lee, um, we're almost at the end, but what is Major Domo? And I'll bring it up on. <laughs> no, I appreciate that. Yeah, today was really all about ninja selling. I, 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 uh, Major Domo is uh, my company that I started with my partner, uh, James Burlow. We are all about helping folks during the second half of the home inspection. So once that home inspection is done, uh, within 24 hours, our company uh, provides home, uh, home repair estimates for every defect inside that uh, home inspection. Uh, we provide all the project details. And then we just released uh, about three weeks ago, a super slick a request list tool. So we have streamlined the process going from home inspection to getting estimates to doing uh, uh, repair list addendums with, uh, with, with your realtor all into one streamlined process. So our, our DOMO report is, is effectively what we call the second half of the home inspection where you go from everything that the home inspection has called out to getting estimates, projects, and turning that into a request list uh, for that uh, transaction all within 24 hours. That's really nice. It's really nice. I like the website. I thought these guys, I thought it was a dance uh, move or something. Dance <laughs> they're, just, they're just happy. You know? <laughs> That's how we want our customers to feel. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Lee, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for taking the time to uh, teach us about uh, some marketing uh, based upon that uh, Ninja Selling book. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, Ben. I appreciate you having me on. All right, everybody. Um, that's Lee from Major Domo, majordomo.com. And if you wanted to reach out to him, ask more questions to help your business, he'd really appreciate it. Again, thanks, Lee. And everybody, thanks for um, attending the Internet U webinar. Be safe, uh, stay safe and healthy. I'll see you next time. Thanks, Thank Lee. You. Appreciate it.